What's up everybody, welcome back to the Combat Cracks YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and welcome back. The featherweight title fight between current champion Alexander Volkanovski and Brian Ortega will take place at UFC 266 on September 4. The fight was confirmed by UFC President Dana White when speaking to the Submission Radio in a recent interview. There is no venue as of yet, but there are plenty of options now that fans are back. 266, we don't know yet, White said about the location for the card. Everything looks like it's going in the right direction. I don't know about the Canada and Australia but everything else looks like it's going in the right direction. Volkanovski and Ortega recently competed in the coaching of the latest season of The Ultimate Fighter with the tension said to have boiled during the shooting of the show. Volkanovski is coming off a back-to-back -back win over Max Holloway. Ortega meanwhile returned to the win column with an impressive unanimous decision win over the Korean Zombie back in October. Mr. Dana White also confirms that while Cody Covington is next in line for to face the UFC welterweight champion Kamara Usman in a rematch, the winner of the up and coming fight between Leon Edwards and Nate Diaz at UFC 263 this weekend will be the next in line after Covington. Edwards is undefeated in his last 9 outings and will look to earn the biggest win of his career when he faces Nate Diaz and finally cement a title shot. As for Diaz, this will be his first fight since he suffered a TKO defeat to George Masvidal back in November of 2019. Anthony Pettis will no longer be competing at the PFL4 on Thursday night. The former UFC lightweight champion was set to take his second appearance for the promotion against Alexander Martins. However, that will no longer be the case as Pettis has had to withdraw due to illness Instead, he will now compete on the June 25 PFL card where he will take on Rash Mafio. Pettis dropped his PFL debut when he was outpointed by Clay Collard back in April. As for Martins, he will clash with the defending PFL lightweight champion Natan Scuttle at the PFL 4. Exciting UFC bantamweight prospect Sean O'Malley reveals he has been inspired by the Paul brothers and their foray into the combat sport world. He is so inspired that he is even willing to join Jake Paul's camp to help him train ahead of his boxing match with Tyron Woodley in August 28th. I'm very excited for that fight, O'Malley said. I don't watch boxing. I literally just don't watch boxing. I'm not interested in it. It doesn't excite me. If a big fight's coming up, I don't watch it. I just watch Jake vs Ben. I watch Logan vs Floyd and I'm going to watch Jake fight Tyron Woodley. I'm super excited excited for that fight, stylistically. I think Jake can get the job done. I do. I like Tyrone. I'm a huge fan of Tyrone. But I'm boys with Jake. I actually might go out to Puerto Rico towards the end of his camp. Go out there and train with them a little. Hang out. Good fight. I'm going to watch it. I'm excited. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all the MMA, boxing and all other combat sports daily updates. Thank you all.